Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Here is Grayson. Everyone meet Grayson. Hi everyone. So Grayson is my new old English sheepdog puppy and we just got her this weekend and we are in love so, so much. She is the sweetest little baby, like so, so sweet. So I know that I did a video a while back telling you guys that I was getting a new puppy and I said that I was going to get a sheep -a doodle Now, there were some things that happened um, after that video that made me kind of, whoa, <laughs> made me kind of rethink my, um, my decision on the particular litter that I was waiting for. It had nothing to do with the fact that it was sheep doodles and it had nothing to do with the fact that it was a mixed breed or a doodle um, compared to a purebred like Grayson, the old English sheepdog, because I do still love that breed. Um, even though they're a mix, I think that you can still get um, a beautiful doodle from a reputable breeder, just like you can a purebred dog. Um, and of course, you all know that I love um, all dogs, so in all breeds. But the reason why that I decided to switch gears a little bit um, to an old English sheepdog instead of a sheep -a doodle is because I was number nine on the litter list, on that litter, on that list of litter. Litter list, litter. Anyway, I was number ninth pick out of 10. And there was a certain look that I was going for. I wanted the all white face um, with maybe like the black ear or the black eye patch. That was really the look that I was hoping for. And I thought that I was gonna be okay with being ninth pick, but the closer it got to the time where we was going to pick the puppy, which was going to be the day we brought the puppy home. I started just, re well, I didn't start. I mean, I was losing sleep over being ninth pick because I had in my mind a certain look that I wanted and I just wasn't comfortable with being ninth pick out of 10. And there was the ones that I really, really loved. I just had a feeling that those were gonna go first and I didn't wanna take that chance. So I started kind of looking around and um, looking at the Old English Sheepdog as a, a purebred breed. And I was like, you know what? Let me just look around and see, you know, what is available for the Old English Sheepdogs. And I found a breeder that I absolutely loved and she had this baby available. And so she was exactly what I was looking for. I love the white face. I love the little black ear. And um, it was just perfect. And I think that it was meant to be. So she, um, she's ours. So I, she's so sweet, guys. Look how big her little paws are. Oh my goodness, she's doing really good. So we had to go on a road trip to get her and we um, drove, it was a quick weekend turnaround, but we did it in a weekend where we drove up, we got her and from the breeder, I was able to meet her mom and her aunt and they were the sweetest dogs, really, really big, uh, but I knew that. And I am just so happy to add a big dog in our future. And I think I love this breed. So, uh, so far I do anyway. So we will see what the next, um, you know, what, what life is with an old English sheepdog. But she is the sweetest little baby. She has been like, perfect. She's so calm. She is lovable. She's snuggly. She's so soft. I mean, I wish that you could feel her coat because she is amazingly soft. And she is just eight weeks old. So we went to the vet this morning. She got a perfect bill of health. She was all um, you know, healthy. They checked her hips and her knees and her heart and everything, you know, seems to be just fine. Her stool was fine. No worms, no coccidia, just, you know, perfect little puppy. 
Um, she weighs 12 pounds, so she's eight weeks old, and she is slated to be about um, 70 to 80 pounds full grown. So she definitely will not be able to be held like this very long. Her little nose is gonna fill in all black. Right now she's got that little puppy pink nose. So a lot of people love that little look, but it won't last for long uh, because her little nose will definitely fill in. So the only issue that I am having right now with her is the crate. So I am crate training her so that she will be able to hold her bladder and her poo poo. Um, and we're not doing the playpen because let's face it, she is a big girl and she's going to jump out of that playpen. So we're doing the crate and I do have to be honest with you, it is not going well right now. So last night was her first night in the crate. The night that she spent with us in the hotel room, she slept in the bed with us and she was perfect. She was like so good, although I did not sleep at all. I kept getting up every, every couple of hours because I was so afraid that she was gonna potty in the bed, but I kept getting up and taking her to potty um, in the hotel bathroom on potty pads, and she did amazing. She was really, really good. But in, you know, once we got home and I, you know, last night was the first night she was home and I put her in the crate, which is appropriately sized for her and she freaked out. So we did not have a good night last night at all. She cried and she cried and she cried all night long. I mean, it was so sad. She cried the entire night. Um, literally, like I would, I didn't sleep at all last night either because I was listening to her and I did get up at two and take her outside to potty, which she's doing amazingly well on, by the way. And um, I had to put her back in her crate. And you know, they say it is best to just ignore them and make their crate a beautiful, fun, happy place. Well, guess what? That is not working because she hates it. She absolutely hates it. So the trainer is on his way over right now as I speak, and um, he's definitely going to, I just texted him a little while ago and said, um, you know, told him the problems that I was having and just that she is relentless. And like I told him, I said, you know, this is not my first rodeo. Um, I have trained many, many dogs, both in the crate and the playpen, and I have never had one that just will not let up. She is relentless, um, but the crazy thing is, is she's such a good puppy. I mean, other than that, she is excellent. She's quiet, she's not a barker, she's laid back, she's the sweetest little thing. Uh, she's not wild, she's not crazy, but boy, does she not like that crate at all. She hates it. And she's relentless, that's the thing. She just does not give up. So hopefully, he texted me back and said, don't worry, I am on my way to save the day. So yay for the dog trainer, because I definitely need some ideas on how to get this little girl to accept her crate uh, before she winds up in bed with us every single night, which is not a bad thing at all. And I really am kind of thinking that, you know, she may wind up in that spot, but she still needs to learn how to be in her crate and be a good girl because, you know, during the day, if, if you know, I am gonna take her to the studio with me, so she needs to behave in a crate. Also, every dog should be able to be in a crate or a playpen um, and be quiet because they, you know, that's their little safe place. So she definitely needs to learn that. I tried to put her in the playpen today, so maybe she just doesn't like the crate and let's try the playpen. She cut up. She just wants to be like right by me the whole time. Um, I know that this breed is very, very loving. Um, and it's a breed that definitely wants to be with you at all times, but there are times when she needs to be quiet in her crate. So we're going to work on that. So I'm going to bring you an update on what we do, what we decide on to um, remedy this little issue. So isn't she adorable, guys? <laughs> isn't she adorable?
She's so soft too. She is so soft. She's getting tired of being held right now. Okay, look. Look, 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 look at the camera. Look at the camera. Okay, as far as the girls, and then I'm gonna let her down because she is getting a little antsy here. Wait one second, wait one second, just a little bit. As far as the girls, they are all doing fabulous. Um, I am so surprised. They are doing really, really good. Um, Grayson just came in here, you know, with, uh, I did a little video last night as soon as we got in and it showed you, you know, them playing or kind of playing. I do have another video on my um, Instagram that you can take a look at of Finley playing with her, which is hilarious, uh, and her playing with Finley, rather. Finley has met her match, I will tell you that. So, you know, Finley was always the one, she's the little cray-cray dog around here. Finley is crazy, and that is my pug, for any of you who don't, who doesn't know that. And she's the crazy dog. Everybody else, you know, Stassi and Harper are laid back. Grayson here at eight weeks old is laid back. Finley is the one who aggravates everyone. So, um, last night it was quite funny because I did a video and um, Finley has met her match because she kind of gave her a little bit of a run for her money. But that's exactly what they need. I know that they are going to be best friends because they, you know, are both going to play with each other. And um, at least I think so. Uh, but so far, so good. And um, I don't know if any of you guys remember when I got Finley, Stassi had a hard problem with adjusting to Finley. And I think it was because she was so crazy. Stassi drooled. She was stressed out and she drooled from the minute she met Finley. Um, probably for a good, I don't even know, it seemed like forever, but probably a good six to eight weeks. Was it that long? It was a long time that she drooled and she drooled and she drooled um, because she was just stressed out with having Finley. So, so far, so good. She is not not even bothered by Grayson. She kind of sniffed her butt and Grayson sniffed her butt and you know that's the way they tell each other hello and so far so good. So that's going really well. Um, so other than that there's really not much else to say. She's eating her food really good. Sorry about my phone that is trying to in and out focus here. It's going a little crazy. But, um, but anyway, she's eating her food really good. We are loving the TLC pet food. I do have a link for that that you can get $5 off, I think, your first order. Um, so I will leave that in the description box below in case any of you are interested. And um, other than that, she got her little microchip today. She got her shots today and she is ready to get down. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please follow Grayson on Instagram at Grayson the Sheepy. I will leave the links below. And of course, Stassi, Harper, and Finley have their own Instagram page as well, um, as well as my Instagram page. And I'll leave all those links in the description box below. All right. Catch you guys on the next video. We have some training to do. Your trainer is going to talk to you, Missy, about your bad behavior in a crate. Wish us luck. Bye, guys. Have a great day.